Consumer complaints against debt collecting agencies soared last year, and many of those complaints are from people who say they are being hounded for debts they never incurred. We call on Curtis Ming with one man's mission to set the record straight. Yeah, his lessons learned something we could all use. He's not sure what happened, and it looked like a lost cause, but he did not give up when he came calling for consumer help. Rodney Carvalho is positive he has never had an appendectomy. I still have my appendix today, yeah. So the Fair Oaks software developer was surprised when his mortgage broker ran a credit check and found a collection agency claimed Carvalho owed $2,800 to a doctor in Texas for an appendectomy he has never had. Uh, I was just, I mean, initially I was, I was shocked. I was like, what's going on, you know? But when he called the collection agency to ask them to remove the notice, they refused. You know, I felt really powerless, like I couldn't do anything about it. A big problem because Carvalho was trying to buy a house and the erroneous entry caused his credit score to plummet from a near perfect 813 to a not bad 708. So he contacted the Federal Trade Commission and found out even though it isn't clear how he got into the crosshairs of a debt collector, cases like his are considered identity theft. The reason we treat it as ID theft is because until we know for sure it's not, that's the best way and the safest way for us to handle it. Jay Foley at the ID Theft Resource Center says victims should immediately file a police report, then contact all three major credit reporting agencies, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, and ask them to remove the false report. If you do everything right, the negative debt comes off your credit report, your credit score goes back up to whatever it should be, it's like it never happened. That's what Carvalho did, and he's now taking extra precautions, like checking his credit report regularly for suspicious activity and shredding paperwork he does not need. Here we go. Bye-bye. Now, as a result of all this, he did not get the mortgage he wanted. The debt collector that reported the false debt says it was a mix-up, and it's sorry there was a mistake. Well, most of us probably don't do this as often as we should, but how often should we be checking our credit Once report? Once a year, you have a right to get it for free. Once a year, a, a report from each of the credit reporting agencies. Now, you don't have a right to your credit score. You're going to have to pay to get that. But mm -hmm. the report, you could look through that and see if there are any deficiencies. Well, and then if you can only check it once a year, how long does it take to get a blemish or something incorrect off your report? Foley, who we interviewed in that story there, says it should take about three months. Sometimes Ooh. it could take longer. But, yeah, yeah. It's, it's frustrating. If yeah. you have a mistake and you're looking to buy a house, right. we see what happens. Mm -hmm. so. okay. All right, if you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, maybe we can. You could call our hotline Monday through Friday, or you could always go to our website and fill out our form. Awesome.